Item ID. AEP-004. Enclosure designation. Noctis. Threat classification. DIM-05. Adaptive enclosure protocols. At present, there is no way to anticipate when or where AEP-004 can be accessed. There is no consistent pattern associated with where access to its location AEP-004-1 will open, with the only commonality being some level of privacy or seclusion at the location. Association assets, including ADF forces, are to be on passive watch for and continue to actively seek out new AEP-004-1 instances and deploy covering misinformation as necessary. Most elements of the anomalous terrorist group Wild Circle remain at large. Manhunts are ongoing. Description AEP-004 is a spherical pocket dimension several hundred meters in diameter. Its internal space is bisected by a gravel path and centers on a large ornate fountain three meters tall by nine meters wide, surrounded by a circular plaza laid with intricately carved flagstones and decorated with a handful of benches. The floor space is split by six paths into sectors of coniferous and deciduous forest, each resembling a forest biome present in each of the Earth's six inhabited continents. The trees appear to be old. Tree ring analysis of stumps suggests an age of several centuries at minimum. Conditions are always highly fog-bound within the dimension, but there appears to be illumination comparable to sunny days and attempts at quadcopter survey expunged. Note. Each path appears to correspond to one AEP-004-1 instance, meaning only six portals to the area can be active at once. Note. The continents constitute North American broadleaf, South American rainforest, African savanna, Central European woods, Asian taiga, and Australian subtropical. The fountain itself has a two-tier design. Carvings along its outer rim depict vast quantities of mammalian life of seemingly every order, phylum, and family in an arboreal scene. The first tier is similarly highly carved, and the spout heads above it show major families of herbivorous megafauna. The four spouts at the top are intricately carved frontal views of major carnivorous megafauna. All have their mouths open with water flowing therefrom, in spite of there being no visible tube mechanism. Depictions include species that are known to have become extinct in the wild in the past millennium. The main anomalous quality of AEP-004 manifests when a human individual enters the one meter deep base fountain pool and bathes in it for a prolonged period. The sensation of being in the water is reported to be blissful and very pleasant, not unlike the effects of certain hallucinogenic drugs. Subjects tend to lose time perception for a period lasting several minutes. Those consciously intending to keep track of their time spent find it extremely difficult due to an effect described as a mental clouding. In general, a subject must bathe in the waters for at least five consecutive minutes before AEP-004's process begins. This is suggested as cognitohazardous by AEP-004 researchers, but reclassification of its threat level has been denied so far. Once the process has commenced, there is no way to reverse it, even by evacuating the fountain pool. The subject will immediately report a tingling sensation around the extremities, and their body will slowly begin to reshape itself into a form midway toward that of the land mammal with which they most recently came into physical contact. This involves the hand and feet changing shape, musculature density adjustments, bone length changes, multiplication of skin follicles, etc. The most dramatic adjustments are usually to the head. The shape of the skull will reconfigure to that of the target mammal as much as possible without affecting the subject's brain, leaving the eyes mostly intact but significantly deforming the maxillofacial region and ears. The posture of the legs and other morphologies may also change depending on the target mammal's anatomical details. The mental clouding effects of the fountain water tend to increase in intensity to the point that most subjects do not notice these changes until they finally exit the pool. Prolonged stays have no additional effect. Up to three days have been attempted with Class O subjects with no apparent effects. Transformed subjects' DNA is not affected, but can easily be falsified as either animal or human with the right expertise. Addendum. The flagstone carvings have been measured as being elaborate down to the millimeter level 
and contain numerous writings in ancient Sumerian, Homeric Greek, as well as certain dialects of Egyptian. Only a very small fraction of this text has been deciphered. Excerpts are available on request from Association Archaeological Research Departments. In general, most of it provides little insight as to AEP-004's nature and speaks vaguely about the unity in nature and the artificiality of the divide between the animal kingdom and human beings. Some of the information seems to anticipate scientific findings regarding the intelligence of mammalian species. From 1990 to 2000, AEP-004 was the home base of a large terrorist organization, group of interest, known as the Wild Circle, who used AEP-004 as the center for what seemed to be a ritualized quasi-religious practice based on deliberately subjecting their members to a select animal, then having them undergo the fountain's properties. They had significant links to the expunged of the normal world, which caused civilian law enforcement to carry out extensive investigations, especially during their most active phase in the 2000s. They repeatedly committed a wide variety of subversive and eco-terrorist actions, racking up a total body count of and were publicly considered a threat equal to Al-Qaeda by the U.S. government. They were especially notorious for always leaving only traces of animal DNA, making their crimes nearly untraceable. After association investigation and a campaign of ART Bravo 7 animal control raids, including on AEP-004 itself, the group dispersed and has not engaged in terrorist attacks as vehemently as before. Public memory of their existence has been removed or edited via use of amnestics and censorship. Value assessment. The existence of this item has significant implications for association research and practical uses. It suggests dimensional manipulation capacity may have existed centuries or perhaps millennia ago, or that the collective unconscious may affect the universe in some fashion unheard of previously. As a practical instrument, it may be used as a transmogrification mechanism of dubious effectiveness. Studying the capacities and anatomy of changed individuals may have some scientific return as well.